I'm making some gutta percha golf balls. This is synthetic gutta percha. It's very similar to actual gutta, gutta percha. It's a tad lighter though. So I have it weighed here. Um, I got it to what? 42 grams with the cup. So it's like 38 grams. So if you look at this here, this shows the weight in penny weight. Um, so 38. Well, it's close to 39, 38, I guess. So it turns out to be 24, um, 24 and a half plant penny weight, which is a little light, but uh, I just can't, no matter what I do with this mold that I'm using, I cannot get it to the typical weight, which is 27. So we're going to put that um, into the hot water. Once we get in the hot water, we'll let it congeal. I'll show you that in a sec. All right, here I'm pouring the gutta percha in. These are pellets. I think you can get it as a powder as well. And we'll stir that up. And it's going to start to get more translucent. Let's see if you can see that. It's starting to get more translucent once it hits the water. I'll show you what it looks like before it hits the water. It's definitely more opaque. Translucent. And as it heats up, I, I got it heated to about 150 degrees Fahrenheit. As it heats up, it wants to kind of congeal to each other. The, the, the pieces want to attract each other. So they all congeal. And I'll let it stay a little bit longer, and then we'll take it out and put it uh, and just roll a rudimentary meatball for now. All right, so we're going to take the got to perch out of the hot water here bring it over let it cool off for a sec and we'll just it's not that hot even though it's about 150 degrees you can usually handle it so we'll get it into a rough similitude of a sphere and roll it this is my grip roller I use to roll my grips out from my golf clubs just kind of press it together. I'm trying to get all of these pieces to not look like a brain anymore and make it look more uniform. So we're trying to smash the pieces together. I don't know. They didn't talk about this in any books on how to make gutta percha balls too much. So we'll throw it back in the water again. It's already getting less translucent. Let's toss that back in. Boink. Heating up a little bit. Stir it a little bit. Got it, what, 160 degrees Fahrenheit? Good enough. Just don't want it boiling for sure. Otherwise, I guess all of this gets denatured. So we'll throw that in the mold. All right, we put that in the mold here. Here's the mold, you can see that. Here's the other piece of it that goes on top. I don't have too much time for this. There's a little part here that fits in. This is called the home press. So I get that started, but I like to get a little more squeeze out. You can see there's not much squeezing out yet here. You're going to see this stuff squeeze out here in a sec. Let me unscrew this if I can. I think I'm going to be a little short on this one. Let's see what happens. Or if something happened. We'll see. Well, maybe I just turned out just right. As long as there's a fin all the way around, I think we're good. Oh, we just made it. Actually, that's perfect measurement this time. So you can see the little Saturn fin there. And I'll just chop that off. So here I'm just going to trim this off. The gutta perch is slightly warm right now. So it's actually coming off fairly readily. Oops. We can recycle all of this.
So I'm just filing off the fin. Just using a rasp here. Or it's actually called a float. The float has um, kind of like chisels going across, curved chisels here. So you can see that. And just about done. Certainly not a Titleist, but you'll probably get 150 yards out of that on a good drive. So after making the ball here, um, I weigh it and I'm getting 38 grams. Pretty much exactly 38.0 grams. If you look at this chart, this is the conversion from um, grams to penny weight. And that's the number you'd see on the feather golf balls and on the gutta percha balls. So at 38 grams, I'm somewhere between 24 and 25 penny weight, um, which is really, really light. Uh, most of the balls were around 27, 27.5, uh, maybe 28. It, 26 was rare. Anything below 26 was very rare. So we're pretty light. Uh, and the reason that I think this is happening is I talked to the um, exporter of this gutta percha, and they said that the synthetic gutta percha has a lower specific gravity than the um, than the other the real actual gutta percha. Here's a really tiny piece of actual gutta percha uh, that I have. So it's naturally either black or red, sometimes white, rarely. Um, but um, so yeah, so that's the press. Here's the ad for the press right there. Home golf press. That's an actual ball that was in the press when I got the when I got it. All right, take care.